Now we've got our third tab here, our property plan. This really goes into detail around our, our portfolio statistics and what we actually need in our portfolio long term. Um, so we've got our asset value today. Uh, so this is this is so what the algorithm does in the back end is actually you know takes your passive income that you need, projects that out until you, when you want to retire, um, understands what our portfolio needs to be, what our portfolio value needs to be at that point in time, and then brings it back into today's value. So this is what we need today. We need just over three three point one in our portfolio. Um, we're bringing that back to our current asset value. So this this person has a one point eight in their portfolio. The difference between those two numbers is one point four. So we need to add a one point four million in our portfolio um, to finish our acquisition stage of building out our portfolio long term. Um, that means our average purchase price there, we're looking around the 500 mark and we're probably looking at getting into um, you know, three or four properties there to be able to achieve that. Usable savings there comes from money management. So that's what we've got to use as a deposit. Uh, required deposit based on that purchase price is uh, 116 uh, and based on an 80% LVR there. So potential to do a 90% LVR and potentially get into that asset. But you know this gives us a good distinction of uh, what additional funds we need to purchase that asset. Again, you know we've got that safety net in there of 51 grand. So we can decide if we want to dip into that or not. Um, but you know we keep them separate and we, wanna, we really want to be able to stay above that safety net, right? So additional funds required is 27 grand. Um, based on the savings that we're saying that we're saving per month, it's going to take us another four months to be able able to save for that and we're looking to get into that next purchase in October 2021 so obviously going to be four months away different for when you're watching this but um, give us a, a good idea of when we may be able to expect to do that next purchase um, and our maximum purchase price today this is based on a few different things um, so based on our income you know our sort of overall borrowing capacity is around that 900 to 1 million dollar mark Based on an 80% LVR on on the available or the usable savings that we've got now, we can buy around the four or the 350 mark, and then based on a 90% LVR, we can look around getting at that 600 mark. So, um, really good indication there of you know making sure we're okay in terms of LVR sense, like how much we are actually putting towards the the property, and then again based on the, on the income there, what what's our sort of maximum overall borrowing capacity. Um, and obviously that's going to change based on lending standards and the banks and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, really good overview of what our portfolio might look like long term.